with a terrible headache. I opened my eyes to see that I was lying down. I raised my hand to cover my eyes from the strong light that was coming from the window, and I noticed a long, thin tube attached to my hand. Wait, am I in the hospital? I looked around. I was lying in bed wearing a hospital gown, but no one was in the room. I checked my body. There was no sign of injuries or broken limbs. I was not feeling any pain. How did I end up here? I turned around and noticed the red button next to my bed. It had a little sign next to it that said, Press in case of an emergency. And so I did. A nurse came rushing in. When she saw me, she freaked out and started calling the doctors. Oh my God, Mr. Jeff, you finally woke up! That's a miracle! Then two doctors came in and checked me. They started asking me stupid questions like how my name is spelled or what the sum of one plus one is. And then they started asking personal questions about different things in my life, and I answered them suspiciously. You seem perfectly fine. We're just going to run a few tests and see the results. Then you should be able to go home. Wow, your family is going to be happy to see you awake. I was confused. Everything was happening all at once. The doctor noticed I was struggling to understand, so he explained that I had an accident, and I hit my head really hard and broke my leg. I was rushed to the hospital. The doctors treated me well, but I wouldn't wake up. I was in a coma for a year. A whole year! I stared at the doctor's face. Was he joking? It turned out he was not. The doctor explained. When someone falls into a coma, they become unconscious. Nothing could wake them up. They wake up when they're ready, and we only have to wait. My family came rushing in an hour later. Mom, Dad, and my twin sisters. They were excited to see me. Mom was crying and Dad was emotional for the first time in his life. Then, a nice-looking woman called Amelia came in. She said hi to everyone and kissed Mom. Then she came, she kissed me on the cheek, and she gave me a one-minute hug, then said, Oh my God, I'm so happy you're back. I looked at her feeling confused. Excuse me, do I know you? They all started laughing, and then Mom said, Oh, the doctors warned us there would be some memory loss because of the head injury. Then she looked at me like she was feeling sorry for me and said, She's your fiancé. She's the one who saved your life. Don't feel bad, honey. You'll remember everything in time. But I responded, No, she's not. I don't remember being engaged to anyone. But Mom said, Look at your finger, sweetheart. The ring is there. Amelia has one, too. I didn't know what to respond. My mom said it as if it was a fact. I looked at my hand, and there it was. And then I looked at Amelia. She didn't say anything. She just smiled. The whole thing felt so strange. How could I remember everything about my life before the accident, but not Amelia? Three days later, I was discharged from the hospital, and they took me straight to my parents' house. They put me in a wheelchair because it would take some time to train my legs to walk again. 